What is up, guys? This is Tristan, and today we are going over how to get pressure washing jobs. This is the most updated 2024 version. I'm not here to bore you. I'm not here to give you any just vague information. I'm actually going to give you the exact channel and a strategic approach that I have at least utilized so that I have been able to get leads so that you guys can steal. How's that sound? Are you ready? And guys, guess what? If you do not know who I am, look, my name is Tristan. I do not have a paid course. I do not have a paid community or a school community or anything like that. I truly believe by the more you give, the more you take. So you can go back to my previous videos just for justification of that. I own $700,000 plus of real estate strictly through my pressure washing business. And I've been able to compile that in just three years. I've earned over 10,000 plus subscribers on YouTube just to build some sort of rapport and trust that I, uh, I'm not some random guy that is just telling you how to get pressure washing jobs. I've been able to do it myself. So you can copy my strategy. How's that sound? <laughs> okay, let's get it to it. Let's get to it. And guys, you might be seeing some SpongeBob memes. I'm a little bit of like a kind of a weird fanatic in that way. Uh, but are you ready kids? Let's go. Okay. So the first one that I've got is Google. And so if you don't have a Google My Business, I would highly advise you to get one. Then you want to compile reviews. You want to have consistent posts. You want to have consistent photos on there. And one little trick that you guys could do absolutely say, you really love this Chick-fil-A. You can post a photo review of your truck in front of the Chick-fil-A and people look at these reviews, they look at the photo reviews and then they see your truck that's affiliated with Chick-fil-A or whatever. A uh, little sneak sneaky hack that you guys can utilize, but definitely just go down the basics, go down to the reviews, keep posting, keep putting those photos up there and you will win. It's a long play, but definitely it is a Google's king, man. Facebook. So th I'm just going to go over these online platforms just real quick, but Facebook, you want to be posting consistently. You want to be giving out educational marketing. So if people do not know what pressure washing is, or they don't know the benefits of it or whatever, you want to be educating them via video or whatever. You could do collabs. You could do collaborations with other contractors that they see, uh, they have a following of their sense. And then, uh, those followings will actually be able to see what you're posting. Facebook live, um, and Facebook groups. Just an example for a Facebook Live. You can go on there and talk about whatever. Just post it. <laughs> Next door, this is how I actually got my first 20 jobs, okay? I got this strictly through this platform. And what you wanna do is you just wanna interact with current events that are going on in your neighborhood. If you do not know what Next Door is, it's basically where you, this platform for all the neighborhood people that is going on current events. There's an alligator in the grass, whatever, you know, who cares? But you want to be commenting on it. You want to be interacting with it and you want to then broadcast your work as well. You don't want to be spammy with this stuff. Uh, and then you want to ask for reviews. Literally, legitimately, one review, one awesome review got me 20 jobs on just this platform. So it does have some strength. Okay, so let's go over print marketing. We're at number four. And guys, look, if you have absolutely any comments, if you have any questions, I will literally respond to any of them, okay? So definitely jot down some comments if you have any questions, okay? Door hangers. Now, my strategy within all this is I allocate, I delegate people to do the door hanger strategy. But if you don't have that, then do it yourself. But put out a shit ton. Put out a ton of these damn door hangers and then put an offer on there so good that they cannot say no to, okay? That is up to your creativity and that is up to your market. But you have to put a ton out. You have to make a compelling offer that they cannot say no to. And then when they call, answer the damn phone. I see a lot of people that this is a problem that they do not answer the phone. That is the whole point of marketing. So if you're not answering the phone, please, please answer the phone. Okay, there's other print marketings as well. Signs, be careful with the, the city code. Make sure that you know the city code. Put it in the front of the yard that you're working at or put them wherever. But just be cognitive of the city code. Business cards, give them out to everybody. Look at my SpongeBob business card. Dope. <laughs> But brochures, brochures with your services, pamphlets, uh, even a business coupon of some sort. 
Uh, people like to have have a handhold that they can keep because they're more likely to go with you, actually. Uh, weird little fact right there. Six is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been very effective for me, uh, but it is a long play. Just recognize that. You want to be commenting on people. You want to be maxing out your connections. You want to slide in those DMs. Whether that's, you know, don't be sliding in the hot girls DMs on, on LinkedIn. Please don't do that. That's not, not a good strategy for you. <laughs> but slide into like property managers, facility managers. Slide in their DMs and introduce yourself. Okay. If you have premium, LinkedIn premium, you can utilize Sales Navigator and find the decision maker of, of each property. But Definitely just keep posting I, what I like. If you want to just go to my LinkedIn as well, it would be a very good uh, example. But I don't sell anything on there. I'm not consistently telling people and buy, trying to make them buy my stuff. I am just connecting with them. And then, you know, it'll be, definitely give you a ton of rapport. Seven, cold outreach, baby. So you have a few ways that you could do this, especially if you're starting out is your friends, your family, your followers. You can do this very creatively, but make sure that you're pouncing on this. And it's the more that you do it, the more that you're going to get better and the better results that you're going to get. Because I see, I got a comment from someone on Instagram that he messaged me. He said, dude, I've been posting like, you know, I've been trying to reach out to like 20 people every week. And I'm like, 20 people? <laughs> 20 if you reaching out to like 200 people a day a day so it takes a lot of volume man like that's the thing you you have to recognize that it takes a lot of volume what i did whenever i first started off i went to like steakhouses and i extracted the general manager's emails but you can find the property manager the general manager's email on those specific websites and then email them as well okay door knocking probably one of the sexiest ones especially when you're starting out but you can't you can't bitch about the word no, guys. Uh, you you really can't. You just have to do it because it's a numbers game. Point blank. You just got to grow up, big dick energy, and say, you know what? I'm just going to go up to this house. If they say no, great. On to the next one. Nine, networking. Networking meetings, BNI, Chamber of Commerce, local business meetups. But the biggest part of this is that you have to use your charisma. You have to use the way that you talk, the intonation that you talk. Use your personal skills that you have developed because you do have some. But maximize on that to build an ultimate relationship because we are in the relationship building business. We are not just selling the bullshit. We're not selling all of this stuff. We are building a relationship so that they can trust us. And so if you could use your sort of charisma in all of these things, the selling will just be a breeze. 10, paid ads. Um, so I'm not big on Facebook ads, but they can work, especially in some, in some markets. Maybe my market is just whatever. I just don't touch Facebook ads. I do like Google guaranteed, but... Facebook ads can work. And so what I've seen with Facebook ads is you get very specific, whether that's like Houston, Texas residents, and then you create a compelling offer that they can't say no to, and then a call to action. Okay, that's the basis of it. Google local service ads, they, you call every, or you pay per call. So you don't have to pay per click or anything like that, which is really, really intriguing. All you have to do is go on the Google local service ads, set your business up, and it's a pretty self-explanatory process. Okay, referrals. This this is my last one, but I really think it's effective in just so many damn ways that people aren't even utilizing it because they just won't ask. And it's an increase of 20 to 30% in business just by asking. So you can literally, at, after the end of the job, you can say, hey, do you know anyone that's as awesome as you that would really benefit from our services? And so you ask them and more times than not, more times than not, they will actually give you a referral. Then just three way text us and introduce me. Cool. Not hard, man. Not hard, man, but you just have to ask. I did want to go over some bonus hacks as well. So with the door hangers, you want to hit the same 
neighborhoods. Don't just go to all assortment of neighborhoods because quite frankly, it takes more than three clicks, meaning three touches of that same marketing channel for them to say yes. So you have to consistently hit the same neighborhoods. Don't go and I'm just going to go to all of an assortment of neighborhoods. Hit the same once. So week one, I'm going to hit this neighborhood. Then I'm going to hit the same neighborhood two weeks later. Definitely a very pivotal touch point. Two, the three-way touch method, which I truly, truly love. So meaning, if I am at the job site, say we got the job, I am going to the surrounding neighbors and saying, hey, we're going to be making a little bit of noise. Please do not mind us. If you have a problem, just, you know, walk over here, whatever. Then you go do the job. You leave a yard sign out front. Then you go back to those same houses and say, thank you so much for your hospitality. If you guys need a quote, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And so I'll either give them a brochure, I'll either give them a business card or a door hanger with a QR code directed towards the website. Okay. Three is with commercial, a lot of it, a lot of these big ticket commercials is you just have to walk in and ask. You just have to walk in and ask. You have to literally allocate a few days and just say, hey, if I connect with a ton of people, that's a win. Not every day you have to make money. And I know that's a little bit contradicting, uh, contradicting, but you don't have to make money every day. The goal is to build enough relationships that it spiderwebs and you build such an immense amount of rapport and reputation that it just eventually spiderwebs. So you have to get the ball off the fucking ground. So walk in and ask. Another way that you can do this is through contractors. So if you see a landscaping company, go up to them and give a business card because those guys will refer you. Then you have to give the same value back. Keep exchanging value with these different contractors. Have a list of contractors that they can utilize and you can maximize on. They'll feed you, they'll feed you work. They will. And then be consistent every day. Okay, so must-haves within your marketing strategy and getting the the jobs is you have to take action. You have to not give a fuck. You have to have the wor- the numbness to the word no. You have to have a plan and you have to stay the path because quite frankly, you're going to experience this in your path where there's the woman in the red dress where she looks super sexy, aka other business endeavors, aka other jobs, aka external distractions, but you have to say no to her and keep the same fucking path. Because if you go to the woman in the red dress, then you're just distracted within your path and you're not going to be able to maximize this. And then you're going to be watching other videos exactly like this. You're going to be like, yes. And then you keep going in this repetitive cycle because you keep going back to the woman in the red dress. I don't know what else I need to say. But just stick to it. Just fucking stick to it. And just put out a lot of stuff. If you guys got any value out of this, definitely please subscribe. Um, I am posting every Tuesday, Friday at 5.15 Central Standard Time. I I post a lot of videos, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. The next video is how to price pressure washing jobs. If you like this type of video, definitely go over there and take a look at it. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.